Hi guys. I don't know why, but for some reason it's come up really, really bloody dark. Oi. Ooh. Let's try turning the light on, that might help. Will that help? Not by a great deal, huh guys? I don't know what's up with this. Anyway. I've, uh... Oh, excuse me. Sort of taken a few days off from the camera. Camera? The camera. Shall I try that again? The camera. One, because it's Christmas, and two, it seems I contracted the, I do believe in the US they call it the norovirus, or norovirus, or however it's pronounced. Over here it's just commonly known as the winter vomiting bug. I got that Christmas Eve night, uh, well, I suppose you could class it as Christmas Day as it was sort of... One, two o'clock in the morning I started feeling it. Uh, at first I thought it was a, you know, a lactose intolerance attack. You know, I'd eaten something with far too much lactose in it and made myself sick. But uh, the fact I lost appetite completely, did not want to eat, and I was actually, well... I tried a few um, plain biscuits because obviously vomiting several times during the night and uh, being able to shit through the eye of a needle all fucking day. My sugars were low. My fluids were low. I was drinking water as much as I felt like drinking anyway. But even that was a struggle to drink because I just didn't feel like doing either. I could keep it down. Thankfully, you know, I was keeping food and water down. It's always a bad thing if you don't, but thankfully I was. And uh, it was actually someone on my Facebook, a Facebook friend, suggested it. So I actually Googled it and looked on the NHS website, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain that's what I had. And I could guarantee if I went to a doctor or, you know, called the emergency doctor out, he would have told me it was a virus anyway, or she. You know, whichever. <laughs> he or she, whatever the doctor would be, would tell me it's just a virus. It will should pass within a couple of days if it doesn't go back. The usual spiel, <laughs> basically. You know, that's what they always tell you. Probably because they're so bloody busy these days. Uh, especially in, sm well, I say small towns. Apparently mine's the largest one in the county. Largest one in Norfolk, allegedly. Yeah, get my teeth in. So yeah, I took a few days off. And now I've got a serious hemorrhoid issue. I do actually need to go and use the bathroom, and I'm trying my damnedest to wait as long as possible. I haven't had one hurt like this in a long time. And laugh all you want. Because all I can say is, I hope those that laugh will get one, and they will understand how fucking painful they are. And they itch, and if it's an internal hemorrhoid, you get, you've got an itch you can't fucking scratch. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got that issue, so it is, put it this way, I like to think I've got a good pain threshold. But every time I go, I actually want to cry. <laughs> and there's a couple of times where I've actually wanted to yell. <laughs> but yeah, enough about my ass. I've got stuff to treat that. Because it's only the one that's causing the issue. I think. I know there's an internal one as well that's been a bit of a bastard. And he said a pain in the ass. <laughs> Right, anyway, enough of my asshole. Uh, I didn't get a lot. Well, actually, I say I didn't get a lot for Christmas. I got some good stuff. My brother got me another pony plushie and a key ring. And I've got some socks on there, gloves. There's a mug right there that you can build on with Lego bricks. 
Although I actually find that the bricks don't actually stick very well to this. Um, I think their measurements are slightly off. The clutch power is a bit crap. But I don't understand because with that cup, this set came with it. And that clutches perfectly. There's nothing wrong with that. I can't fault it apart from, you know, feeling the plastic feels a lot cheaper than Lego. That's about the only thing I can fault on. There's a bit of a shitty mould for this bit right in here. It was, sort of came off the mould a bit shit. But apart from that, that holds together fine. But the bloody cup, you try sticking those bricks on there, they don't hold. <laughs> no idea why. Uh, my sister got me another wooden squirrel puzzle, so I've got a... I thought they were identical. Because this is the one my friend over in France got me, which I've painted black at last. I've been wanting to do that for a while. Here's this one, and if you actually look... Whoops. This one is actually bigger. It's exactly the same, piecewise, and the way it goes together, and the shape... ...is exactly the same. Actually, the, the simulated tail fuzz, I've just noticed is different on at least the centre one. Ah, so there is a few minor differences, but apart from that, the actual shape is exactly the same. It's just like they took the template and just made the pieces slightly bigger. <laughs> Although with that one, I haven't had to use any glue apart from the eyes. I've glued the eyes in. Only because I think they were meant to be sticky back and I couldn't get the bloody paper off. But either way, I had to go and buy a tube of glue just to do that. So I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do this one yet. I could do with like a reddish brown colour really, you know. A squirrel colour. With perhaps a white front. And neither of them like to stand up. I may actually tweak his legs a little bit. I think that's causing the problem. But uh, yeah, I've been... I've got some American candies there. I'm not too keen on those ones. They're a bit um, a bit too tangy for me. They're nice flavours, but a bit too tangy for me. Uh, and if I can find it, I had an... Ah, here it is. I had a nice one of these earlier. This is watermelon. I haven't had that one yet. I had a couple of these in the pack. And uh, there's a couple of chocolate bars which uh, I could eat, but it would be at my own risk. <laughs> and how my guts have been lately and how my bottom is, I ain't going to do that. I might save them for a day when I'm having a I don't give a shit day. Uh, my sister and a boyfriend got me that mug as well with a puncture repair kit in it. Uh, I'm not going to get up and walk around because I've got no pants on. I had a bath and just didn't see the point in slinging any pants back on, so... Forgive me for that. Oh, the obligatory underwear. A couple of ceramic squirrels, which I was meant to get for my birthday. Because I was there when Mum bought them, and she said, you're not having them to your birthday. Christmas comes along, and I finally get them. <laughs> Must give Mum her um, kitchen foil. That I forgot to take over Christmas Eve. Oops. So we had to run down to the shop local to her to grab some. <laughs> Before I closed. Let's see. Um, I've got a gift card. That's what that red packet is there. A numpty here. I tried to use it. Not realising you've got to register the damn things first. So it wouldn't accept it. And I'm like, why would it accept my gift card? So I came back. Read the leaflet that's with it. Got to register the card first. Oops. So I'll go and use that tomorrow. Because I've actually noticed that Roy's in town have already got 2017 Lego sets on the shelf. So I'm going to go and get a couple with it. Already decided, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get a couple of Lego sets with it. Um, I've got two presents still at Mum's. Because uh, I'm not allowed over yet. Because <laughs> the norovirus is actually um, quite contagious. And it can even be, according to the NHS website, contagious for up to 48 hours after symptoms subside. And it can last for three days. So this would be day three. 
So, I need to give it at least another two days before I should be safe to be around. Of course, friends can come around if they want, and be at their own risk. I mean, yeah, the symptoms have pretty much gone now. Oh, that wasn't nice. I, I was going to say I don't like vomiting, but I don't suppose anybody does. I don't suppose any, I hate being sick, but then again, I was, nobody really likes being sick, do we? Um, but sitting at Mum's, I've got a large-ish metal box, aluminium box, um, with lots of, lots of pouches for CDs and DVDs. I was going to put my CD collection in it, but I think I've decided so I can get a bit of room in the bedroom, because the silver box is going to be easier to store on a shelf. I'm going to try and get as many DVDs into it as possible. If not all of them. I could probably get most of them in there, actually. If I can get a bit ruthless and throw a few more away. Uh, and the other thing I got... Um, which I was actually surprised at. I did ask for it. Because even though I'm 33, Mum always asks, what, what, what do you want for Christmas? And I did say, a Lego train. I said, that's the only thing Lego related I actually want, is a Lego train set. My first Lego train set. Because all the years I've been into Lego, and even as a kid, I've never owned one. And what did they manage to get me? A Lego train set. I've actually got one. But I left both those items there because I have big boxes and how I was feeling um, Christmas Day. I really did not fancy taking two trips up and down two flights of stairs. So I just took what I could bag up. My laptop is still over there as well. Um, well that doesn't matter because when I next go over perhaps me and stepdad can sit at the table and uh, build it up because he loves trains. He's still got all his train stuff from the old house, which he's debating on selling. Because there isn't really anywhere to put it there. There's no room in the attic. Um, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, apparently it is complete. And uh, when they went to pick it up, it was shown working and running around the track, so... But, but apparently my brother sat there for 45 minutes dismantling the locomotive itself. <laughs> so, yeah! But um, they thought that I wouldn't want to assemble, that I would want to do that myself. Because all the instruction manuals are there. There's a couple of printouts for some track layout, which... I'll use to play with it at Mum's, but when I get it on my town, I'm going to have my own layout for the track anyway, so, I can't do, because uh, the bridge is incomplete, I've got to complete the bridge, but, uh, yeah, anyway, before I do shut the camera down, because I should have Mum phone in to um, see how I am shortly, I just wanted to say, may the four celebrities, or five if we count the author of Warship down, rest in peace that we've lost recently. We've lost all of those in four days. We lost the lead guitarist from um, Status Quo, Rick Parfit. We lost, uh, he was Christmas Eve, or it was announced to Christmas Eve anyway. Christmas Day, we lost, lost George Michael. Uh, I've forgotten her name, but she played Nana in The Royal Family, a British comedy. She died... Oh, yeah, she died yesterday. And today, we lost... Uh, I've forgotten her name already, and it's been all over Facebook. Princess Leia. From Star, um, Star Wars. And as I said, the author of Warship Down. So, may they all rest in peace. And apart from 
the lady that played Nana, who was 95, and of the author of Warship Down, they were all pretty young. Uh, George Michael was in his 50s. Uh, Rick was 60... 68, I think. Still not that old. Oh, Lord. I don't actually know how old Leah was, to be honest, but they were all quite young. Uh, gone but not forgotten. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, my voice went funny there. Right. <clears throat> Throat might be getting a bit dry. I may need a drink. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.